All right, fields are opening up. Let's talk drills. My name's Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so what I wanted to do was one, show off a new toy that I have, uh, so we'll get to that in a second, but uh, I wanted to go over a drill that literally we did this past weekend myself and some of the uh, other ML King players uh, over at Central Florida Paintball, so I wanted to show you that and show you some variations that you can do that will make it more difficult, but it's going to be something that will benefit not only you, but your team so, as well. Uh, this is my, my new toy. Uh, I will be using this when I do layout breakdowns, because what I can do is actually get down and I'll have like a string or something so that way I can see different shots it's a little bit different when you look on paper like I've shown you before when you're looking from a top-down view uh, there's certain things that you can't see until you get actually out onto the field so what I wanted to do was have something once I saw Arabs made this uh, is to one get one that had my logo on it because that looks cool uh, so Arabs was nice enough to do that so thank you to them they do have two different sizes I believe this is the smaller size uh, but everything is the the correct dimension so whatever size you get it is actually printed on basically bunker material so it's going to be very durable and all the pieces are 3d printed so um, you can get whatever color you want I saw him doing some really cool ones uh, where it was like one single color, like one level was just a color, uh, multiple colors. You can have, it's, it's really cool. They can do a lot of different things. So it is a little bit more expensive to get your logo on there, but maybe you have a team or something and you wanted to have this out at the field. Uh, this would be just a great uh, addition to your repertoire. Uh, but also it's just going to help with seeing different shots that you aren't going to be able to see until you're actually out on the field. This will at least give you that little bit of a, uh, an edge to your uh, opponents that you're going to be seeing at the tournaments. Every little bit ha uh, helps, so this is something that will help that. Uh, it does come with 10 players, so you have 10 in one color and 10 in, an, uh, I'm sorry, 5 in one color, 5 in another, 10 altogether. I can count. Uh, so what I wanted to do was show you the drill that we were doing this past weekend, and it is a two-on-two two drill. So there are going to be variations of this, so you don't have to do two-on-two. Two. You could do three-on-three three. Uh, if you wanted to do four-on-four. Four. The thing with two-on-two two is that it's really going to force you to uh, make sure that you are working with your teammates. So you have to make sure that you are communicating very well. It's the whole point of this drill. Uh, so before we get into any of the variations, what you'll do is you'll have your two players start on the start box and they are going to, I'll just put them down like this. So obviously you're not gonna be laying down, but I think it's gonna be easier if I have the players like this. Yeah, that looks better. So you'll have uh, everyone starting at the start box and you can have it where it's a full field. Uh, this is what we were doing. So it was a full field and basically it was just going to eliminate the other players and we kept it to just a hopper. So think of it like this is the end of a, a game. Uh, you need to win the point or hold out. And we'll get into to that in a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a very good communication drill because one, you can't just be pounding a bunker because all you have is a hopper. So you need to make sure that you're picking your shots wisely, that you're making moves uh, accordingly and taking advantage of different uh, options that are given to you. The other variation that you can do is actually starting in your bunker. So you would pick whatever two bunkers you want and have your players start in that bunker. Both sides would. So you'd have both sides. Oh, I just realized that I am missing a bunker on that side. So let's just say that there's another cake over there. Uh, actually, I'll just do this. Yeah, we'll put that back there and we'll move this. I was just kind of putting this all together. So this is kind of a behind the scenes for you, I guess. Uh, but um, this isn't an actual layout. I just kind of threw this down here and just kind of kept building as I was going might be fun. I don't know. If you guys want to take a screenshot of it and go ahead and ha ask your field to make it, that'd be kind of cool. Tell me what you think. But anyway, so the other thing you can do is start in your bunkers. Now you'll start with your guns down, you do the regular five seconds, and then go. Uh, if you want to have it where it's a hopper and a pod, that's okay. But again, the whole point of this drill with the two-on-two -two is really working on who's doing what on the field, if this guy's supposed to be looking this way or, or he wants to say, hey, I'm heads up with this guy, whatever the case may be, uh, the whole point of it is to better your communication. You also want to make sure that you're making the right moves. So the good thing is that if you're playing against someone else that you trust, uh, even if you bounce them or something like that, they tell you afterwards, 
maybe there's a, a chance that you have to move over to another spot and it actually would have been better for you to go up to here. Who knows? This is something that this player or that player would be able to tell you. Hey, actually, you could have probably gone over here and blocked me out and then come all the way up and moved up into you know that wing and been able to uh, to do some other damage uh, uh, to, to us. Or, yeah, when, when you were moving, um, I, I didn't see you actually move out to the corner or I didn't see you go and do that thing uh, that you had done. Or, yeah, actually, when you were... Or, I'm sorry, when I was running out, your player over here bounced me on the way out. So that way you're helping out your teammates to, again, you want to better your team to make sure that you guys are going to be the most effective. Uh, another variation that you can do of this is you have two players start in their bunkers, but they actually just walk straight up to the bunker and have basically like if this was them and this is the bunker, they're pretty much two inches away from the bunker itself. These two players, or whatever side you want, would pick whatever two bunkers they want to start in. So you could have it where everything from this point back is okay. You'll do your usual, this is where you would want to have someone on the sideline just to call the five and go because you don't want to hear where these other guys are at. The whole point of this is let's say that you've lost two bodies on the field. This happens even at the professional level. You're, you're counting out bodies and then you're like, wait, there's still one or two. Where is that guy? We need to find him to make sure that it's not someone just waiting for a move or something like that. Uh, so these two would have to communicate to figure out where these other two bodies are at. So let's say they started there and this guy starts here and this guy starts here. So we, we would say that everything from that brick back would be okay. So once this person over here says the five and go, these two players are able to pull their guns up and start to, uh, to shoot and start talking. Same thing with these two. Of course, the advantage is that these two know exactly where they're at. These two don't know where those two players are at. So it just brings a, uh, a different part of the game in because there are times that you lose players on the field. This is a drill so that way you know how to stay calm, how to still communicate while keeping eyes down the field to see where that last guy is. Uh, the last variation that I'll show you is you'll actually start in your bunker, but let's move this here. And this one you will know where those other players are at. So what you're gonna do is actually cut the field in half. So on this particular layout, it's a little bit different. So what I would say is maybe from this pin over, like you could go in between, but you couldn't play this brick. So now you just have this here. Same thing, you can have it where uh, uh, you only have a hopper or hopper and a pod. Uh, sorry, one last variation that you could do with all of these is have a time limit of uh, you know a minute, a minute and a half. If you wanna just play it out, that's fine. Uh, but you could say that, okay, these guys have to hold and these guys have to win. Uh, so let's say that, you know, th this side is, you know, up, quote unquote, a, a point or two. This side needs to at least beat them in one of them to, uh, to, to tie the game, to put it into overtime or to, uh, to bring it back. Uh, so that, that way they're not losing. So this way, these two have to communicate to figure out how do we kind of dig roots. Uh, we don't have a lot of time. We only have a minute, minute and a half and we need to stop these guys from moving. These two are working on their communication to figure out when they can bump and move around, even with a limited amount of bunkers to work with. Uh, so you would do this on either side. Uh, obviously, you, I, I guess you could do it in the center and just have two sides that are you know, the, the out of bounds. Uh, it just makes it easier if it's just Dorito side or just snake side. So uh, that's a whole bunch of variations I know, but it's a very, very good drill. Uh, again, this is something that the ML Kings that we had done with some of our, our teammates uh, just this past weekend. So it was something that helped us because we were able to look and go, hey, actually you should have shot here or, uh, oh, I could have done this different. And oh yeah, that probably would have worked because you would have blocked me out this way. Or, hey, when I move this way, you bounced me or whatever the case is, you want it to be that your team is, is strong all the way around. So that is gonna be helping you out with this kind of a drill. Uh, the last thing that I'll say uh, before we close the video out, if you have your whole team there, let's say that you have you know seven guys on your roster, Right now you only have four, so you have three guys that aren't playing. What I would say is have them looking at the other players. Critique them. Hey, when you were here, you were way off your bunker. Why aren't you getting closer? Or, hey, did you know that you could have made this move or you could have done this while this guy was here? 
again, all of these little minor critiques are going to help out you as well as your teammates to see the field in a different way while also helping each other out. Because again, your, your team is only as strong as your weakest link. So you want to make it where everyone is uh, is strong in their playing ability, not, not just their gunfighting, but also their communication and actual mechanics while they're moving on the field. All right, guys, so that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if this is something that you guys like, please make sure that you click that subscribe button as well as the bell so that way you're notified whenever a new video comes out. I just got done doing a giveaway, uh, so I'd like to do some more. So make sure that you uh, click the bell so that way you know exactly when it is that you can go ahead and enter. Uh, also, uh, I do have a Patreon as well. So if you wanted to go and support me uh, over there, that'd be fantastic. Uh, there's everything from $1 to $50 and everything is explained on the site. The $50 one seems kind of crazy, but basically it's a private clinic for you um, uh, virtually. So it would be something that for some people might be, might be worth it. Uh, but everything's explained over there, patreon.com slash how to play paintball. Uh, but thank you everyone again, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.